early days, when I first started, my first sort of like um, recollection, who had I think Di Canio, Paolo Di Canio had a lot of tattoos, like all over his chest yeah. and stuff, and his arms. I think he's actually got a West Ham tattoo, actually. Yeah, so that was probably the first person in football that I actually saw um, as a kid. And I think even back then, I was like, oh, I like that, that's nice. Um, and I think one of the... What other player? Jermaine Lenz. When I was at, um, at Sunderland, I mean, he was covered, yeah, yeah. like, literally everywhere. Like, everywhere. Legs, calves, toes, everything. It was unbelievable, but his tattoos were, they were nice. Um, but yeah, I think it's, nowadays, it's just a thing. Um, I mean, Sane's, he's got, what, mm. a picture of himself on his back. It's on his back, isn't it? Yeah, what would you make of that? Yeah. I mean, each to their own, innit? <laughs> if, that's, if that's your thing, then, I mean, it looks nice. Um, but yeah, it is a thing now in football where everyone just gets tattoos. Yeah. And obviously Beckham as well. Yeah. He's sort of like, he's, he's, he loves his tattoos. Uh, I remember when he was, um, on his way of England, I said to him, I said, how come your tattoos are always like, they always look fresh, like, because he, he gets them done all the time. Mm. So you see like mine, they're faded a bit. Yeah. Probably need to go over them. But these ones are always just yeah. like fresh. Like he's just had it done. 